another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, September 22nd, 2023. A major thoroughfare to Beach Boulevard has been limited. We'll tell you where and why. Tickets are now on sale for the annual Mississippi Gulf Coast Senior Prom. We'll tell you where you can purchase tickets. A raffle for a cause. We'll have a special guest to tell you how you can get involved. And we'll take a look at the weekend forecast and a list of events taking place this weekend in Biloxi. But first, we begin with the I-110 southbound closure. The Mississippi Department of Transportation has closed all southbound lanes of I-110 after the Bayview exit. Tuesday night, the Biloxi Fire Department responded to a trailer fire under I-110 near the Bayview exit. The department was able to extinguish the fire within 30 minutes, but the fire damaged the bridge columns and underside of the bridge. Motorists traveling south are to access Beach Boulevard by way of the Bayview exit. As of September 20th, MDOT says the southbound lanes will be closed for at least seven days. Tickets are now on sale for the 15th annual Mississippi Gulf Coast Senior Prom. The prom, which takes place on Thursday, November 16th, is open to ages 55 and older. Tickets are available for $20 and can be purchased from several locations throughout the coast. In Biloxi, tickets are available weekdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Parks and Recreation Office on Hiller Drive. And now this. Joining me now is Captain Goesworthy with the Biloxi Police Department. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, thanks. Well, you know, the police department, you're always busy. In addition to protecting and serving, you're involved with the community in a lot of different ways. Um, tell us about some of those ways currently going on. So we have the Citizens Police Academy that we're in the middle of right now, and that will continue through January. Um, we just got done with uh, city ordinances, so we had a council person, Tisdale, come in last night and teach that course. And next week will be the special team, so the canine, the bomb team, um, our dive team, all those little teams that we have will be out there with displays, but oh, also awesome. they will cover the topics, explain why they have to have certain tools. Um, the canines will do a demonstration. They'll get to see our canine teams. So we're, you know, steady on that. And so far, great group. They're all enjoying it. Um, I was going to ask, what is the feedback you're getting from them? Just all positive, excited. Um, they. I'm sure it's opening their eyes to different um, divisions and different aspects of the Bullock Sea Police Department. Well, they ask a lot of questions that are in a lot of ways what you expect, but in depth that the officers are like, wow, I never thought somebody would ask me a question like that. So they get opportunity to not only explain about the work aspect, but why they're in the job and what got them in the job. So That's they're awesome. getting a connection between the citizens and themselves and understanding better. And there's a lot of talk back and forth. And every week they're like, hey, who do we have tonight? What do we got coming on tonight? So they're enjoying it. So then it seems like it doesn't only benefit the public, that it's actually benefiting the officers too Absolutely. to get that interaction. So I know we have one going on right now, and this is a, an annual thing that people can sign up for. We're going to have another one in the future, so people just pay attention to the police department's social right. media page for something in the future, and maybe they can get involved. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Well, in addition to that, I know we have a couple raffles going on that benefit, um, uh, of course, the community and people in that are, have ties to the Bluxy Police Department. So tell us a little bit about those. So the first one is the St. Baldrick's, which the drawing for that is October 7th, 2023, and it will be at 12 o'clock at the Police Department. Okay. And it is for a PlayStation 5 and Ooh. a 55-inch TV. That's awesome. And it is one ticket's $5, three tickets is $10. Okay. If somebody wants the tickets, they can either call Community Relations or they can come to the front desk where they're sold also. But we have officers with raffle tickets that will come out and do that, and awesome. all that money will go towards St. Baldrick's. Now, St. Baldrick's will end sooner. What they normally do is in September, but we're gonna continue it until October 7th. Awesome, so this is a this raffle benefits the St. Baldrick's, which also um, we have some people in the city of Bloxy that maybe um, have benefited from this they organization. Have. We, we have an officer who steps on has benefited from them and there's a few other employees that have had people through St. Baldrick's and that program is it's for children that's that's the key part children dealing with cancer so it's really important that you know we try to help them and try to get fundraising for them so they can continue doing this good work that's awesome and when's the deadline again to get the raffle October tickets October 7th 
Awesome, awesome. And then, don't we have another raffle going on? We do. We're, we're doing an in-house raffle, and not, not just a raffle. It's a 50-50, but we're doing it bingo for Bluebe. So what we're doing is at Martini's on October 10th. Okay. We will have bingo from 7 to 9, okay. and all the money will go towards one of our officers, Officer Lowe, and it, it's going to be helping with medical procedures and everything that she needs during that time. She'll be out for a while. So all that money that we raise from the bingo and the 50-50 we do that night, okay. that will all go towards her to help her offset the cost. That's awesome. Well, those are some great ways to, um, to help other officers. How do you feel been taking part of that and, being, um, and helping other officers? I know law enforcement is like a family in general. but It is. It, it, it's one of those things where you, know, you have a second family and they're close to you. We all know each other. We all know our families. We all know the children. Some of our children go to school together. So it's one of those things where any way you can help out, you, you do whatever you can. And it's a lot of fun. We uh, just recently had the first bingo, and it was a blast. Um, it wasn't a big crowd, but it was a big enough crowd that everybody enjoyed themselves. It was a good time for two hours, and then at the end of the night, Everybody left with a smile on their face and that's some awesome. winners, you know. That's awesome. Yes, some winners, yes, because bingo is fun. Yeah, well, that's great. And then there is something else that's coming up. If you just give us a little preview of something what um, citizens can expect in the near future, how they can um, okay. meet the police department and have fun. So October is a really busy month because Halloween. It's becoming a really popular holiday, you know, and okay. we do Festival Against Crime. So what that is is from 2 to 6 on October 28th, we're going to set up at Point Cadet. We're going to be serving food. We're going to have some giveaways. We're going to have entertainment for the kids. And people can come out and see demos of all the special teams and different officers get to meet and greet and actually talk. It's a way for the community and the officers to actually get to meet person to person. Because you have night shift officers that are in a car riding around at night, mm -hmm. very rarely interacting other than when they go to a call. And this is a chance for those officers to meet the people they serve and the community to meet the officers that serve them. Yeah. Well, I commend you. I commend the Bluxy Police Department on all that you do, the way that you get the community involved and, and participate with activities internally and externally with the community. Right. So I appreciate you being here and telling us about that. Thank you. All right, thank you. The weather forecast calls for highs in the upper 80s and evening lows around 70 degrees. The skies are expected to be mostly clear, so it should be a very nice weekend. British-Australian soft rock duo Air Supply were formed in 1975 and are still actively touring to present day. Air Supply will be performing their classic favorites live tonight at the IP Resort Casino. Having sold more than 100 million records, the band Chicago is one of the longest running and best selling groups of all time. Multi-award winning band Chicago performs live at the Beau Rivage Resort Casino both Friday and Saturday night. Well, it's a big golfing weekend at the 48th Annual Slopic Invitational Golf Tournament. This event takes place at five Gulf Coast courses, Sunkist, Windance, Fallen Oak, and two at Diamond Head. For more information, visit slopicinvitational.com. Information about the events mentioned is available by visiting the various venues' websites. And you can always see a list of what's happening throughout the month by checking out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the September issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking right here. We leave you today with views from the Biloxi Crosswalk, north of the Small Craft Harbor, where two flags were displayed this week for the Croatian President's visit to our city. Stay safe and have a great weekend. We'll see you again next week.